Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring. And moreover, I will also show you how to easily take care of this huge number over here in the constant term. So let's get started now. The very first step is let's write down this the constant term on the top of this x factor so negative 6720 goes on the top and this middle number positive 4 is going to go at the bottom of this x factor we are only interested in this part just keep in your mind don't worry about this negative sign right now so we got 6720 and in the next step we are going to find out the possible prime factors are the divisors of 6720 you can do it really easily it is but if you're not sure you can use this divisibility table over here and we know that 6720 is easily divisible by 2 3 5 and 7 so we know that the possible factors the prime factors are 2 3 5 and 7 they, they are going to help us a lot when we are finding the factors of 67 20 and now we are going to look for a perfect square number that is very close to 67 20 Think about that one and we know that the pretty close to 6720 is 6400 that could be easily factored out to 80 times 80. That means our possible factors of 6720 are going to be real really close to 80 and 80. And thus our possible factors turn out to be 84 and 80. And you can see that these both numbers are divisible by our prime factors as you can see that one. 84 is divisible by not only 7 by 3 and 2 and 80 is divisible by 5 and 2. Make sure that they must be divisible by all these factors. So thus we know that our possible factors turned out to be 80 and 84, isn't it? And we can see the difference is positive 4. Only thing is we need to fix the sign. So this become positive 84 and negative 80. Thus our two factors of this 67, negative 67, 20 turns out to be a negative 80 and positive 84. So let's go ahead and let's focus on this side right now. So our possible factor is going to be like this one. I want you to put down two parentheses equal to zero. So first I want you to put down x and x. And in the next step, we are going to put down negative 80 in the first parentheses and plus 84 in the second. So since these two factors equal to zero, we can easily separate them. I can write x minus 80 equal to zero and x plus 84 equal to zero. That means x turns out to be one of the solution is x equal to positive 80 and here x equal to negative 84. That is another solution. So thus our solution set turns out to be a negative 84 comma 80. And here is your assignment. Can you do this one on your own? You can take your time. You can pause the video. Luckily I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.